Well, the verdict means that Aung San Suu Kyi is going to be behind bars probably for the rest of her life. Uh, she's 77 years old. This latest seven-year addition, uh, the sentencing, uh, comes to a cumulative 33 years against her, counting up all the various different charges and cases. Uh, and I think that the military junta plans to keep her behind the bars for the foreseeable future. We're going to see an ongoing uh, uh, deepening civil war in Myanmar. And Suu Kyi has basically been sidelined. She's been taken out of the process. Uh, she will remain a very potent symbol uh, for particularly uh, the people in Sagaing and Moniwa and other areas of, of core resistance where the ethnic Burmans are the vast majority. They see her as a political threat. Uh, they're talking about uh, staging some sort of bogus elections later uh, in 2023. Uh, it's entirely possible that Suu Kyi and, and the National League for Democracy will be sidelined using these convictions, using her continued imprisonment uh, to try to undermine the party and make sure that there are no political threats to the junta if it does decide to go forward with uh, its plans for an election. Suu Kyi uh, is now ultimately uh, a, a hostage. Uh, she is uh, returned to her uh, previous role in the 1990s as a, a hostage for democracy. You know, so Secretary of State Blinken uh, should uh, wake up tomorrow and uh, decide that we need to sanction the Myanmar oil and gas enterprise. The European Union has already sanctioned mode. Uh, the U.S. needs to follow suit. There needs to be a much uh, more, uh, there, there needs to be a concerted effort by the uh, international community